Coming to you from Homer, Alaska, along the Homer Spit, a four and a half mile finger of land jutting out into the Ketchumak Bay. I'm Jason Epperson, and it's time for this week's RV and Camping News Roundup. Welcome. We begin this week with a check in on fuel prices, which are boiling up again. Last Monday saw the largest single day spike in the price of a gallon of regular gasoline since March. The national average surged 13 cents since last week to $3.71, mainly caused by oil prices approaching $80 a barrel again. Since last Thursday, these 10 states have seen the largest increases in their averages. Indiana, Iowa, Florida, Ohio, Georgia, Kansas, Tennessee, Texas, North Carolina, and South Carolina. The highest prices in the nation belong to California and Washington, where you'll pay an average of $4.93 a gallon. And the lowest prices can be found in Mississippi at $3.17 a gallon. Gas prices have been fairly stable this year until now. Today's national average of $3.71 is $0.15 cents more than a month ago, but is still $0.59 cents less than a year ago. Meanwhile, diesel is at $3.94 a gallon, up $0.07 cents over a month ago, and down $1.40 from a year ago. Gas demand is lower than the same period both last year and in 2021, according to AAA. That might have a bit to do with the ongoing heat wave. AAA says that the drop in demand isn't helping prices too much, though, because the heat also suppresses refinery production. The current heat wave could continue throughout much of the country through into August, according to the National Weather Service's long-range forecast, everywhere but the Midwest, which is predicted to retreat back to normal temperatures. The nation's largest RV dealership chain, Camping World, has announced the opening of its 200th location in Van Buren, Arkansas after completing its previously announced takeover of Breeden RV. Camping World now operates in 43 states with a plan to operate in all of the lower 48 and to increase its store count by 50% over the next five years through a combination of acquisitions, new store openings, and these manufacturer exclusive locations that we've talked about here recently. To that end, Camping World has also dramatically increased its floor plan credit facility with its lenders, which is how dealers finance their inventory prior to selling it to you. Camping World can now borrow over $2 billion to finance inventory on its lots. Last week, we reported on the current state of RV manufacturing and how production is down by nearly 50% over the past year. The RV industry was in a hiring frenzy in 2021 and in 2022, but now layoffs abound. The most recent, Grand Design, has laid off over 150 employees. Grand Design says it's one of the last companies in the industry to make this type of move, and employees were given an advance notice and a bonus. They still employ well over 2,000 people. I think there still may be a little hurt to come in the RV industry, but we're probably past the worst of it. RV sales are far outpacing production still, which is helping the industry right-size production and inventory with demand. More in a moment, but first, this episode is sponsored by Sterling Pacific and their line of premium aluminum travel cases. They sent me this 35-liter cabin travel case to check out. These things are a favorite among airline pilots and frequent flyers for their sleek looks and durability. I just love the distinguished looks and the simple premium design. We're actually putting all of our podcast and filming gear into it to keep sensitive electronics protected on the road in this little tank of a suitcase. It even comes with a cover to keep it from getting scratched. Sterling Pacific has worked tirelessly to design and engineer what they consider the perfect premium luggage with a precise attention to detail and it's aluminum pretty much everywhere there's no cheap plastic parts even the trolley handle and the wheel housing are durable 5052 aluminum reinforced with a380 aluminum corners with impact bearing ridges on the front and back and italian leather handles two oversized wheels give you maximum control and are attached to a through axle while sterling pacific's luggage may not be the most affordable option out there it offers a unique experience for those seeking something different who aren't willing to compromise on their luggage. To make it a bit more accessible, Sterling Pacific has provided our audience with a special offer, a $300 discount code when using the code RVMILES when making a purchase at sterlingpacific.com slash RVMILES. By taking advantage of this offer, you're not only getting a great deal, but also support this channel. So visit sterlingpacific.com slash RVMILES now. About two thirds of RVers travel with pets. In fact, that's why many of them choose to travel in an RV. Campground chain KOA has been a leader in catering to that demand with pet-friendly facilities across North America and even pet-centric sites with dog pens. 
They're now partnering with two pet-focused companies to offer discounts on even more services for pets through their KOA Rewards Program, programs that are ideal for pet travelers. Just Answer Pets is a subscription-based virtual veterinary telehealth platform that allows users to connect with a live licensed veterinarian 24-7, 365 from anywhere. KOA Rewards members get 15% off. And Pet Premium is a pet insurance marketplace that now offers a discount to KOA members as well. Pet Premium is a P3 technologies company who also offer an online marketplace that includes a pharmacy and prescription delivery service, bringing pet prescriptions to your door no matter where you are. If only it were that simple for humans. I'll put a link to the KOA marketplace in the description. There's a growing trend in the campground industry that surely many of you have noticed. Premium RV parks with all sorts of amenities at a premium price. And often they're buying more affordable campgrounds to make it happen. Well, if I'm going to pay a premium price, I want to pay it for a place like this. Romestead is a new brand of modernized campgrounds. And it has officially opened its flagship site just outside of Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Romestead Smoky Mountains offers five different cap and floor plans, RV hookups, yurts, tent sites, and lodge rooms. In the lodge is a pavilion, outdoor heated pool, a coffee shop, and a bar, and communal fire pits. For the kiddos, there's an activity yard, playground, and movie nights, and there's breakfast and dinner available, as well as a selection of regional beers. Romestead was established to welcome adventurers to experience the magic of the outdoors, through genuine hospitality and elevated design. And I think it looks beautiful while still looking like a campground in nature. But what does it cost to park your RV there? About $124 a night. I'll link to Romestead in the description. There's several more on the way throughout the country. Our RV Miles Homecoming Rally is coming up October 4th in Amana, Iowa, and we don't want you to miss it. We're gonna have a great time and there are only 15 sites left. So please, please consider joining us. I'll link to the details below. Thank you again for visiting us here. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want more videos like this, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.